Good morning. I am exhausted. I I tried to sleep in the basement. I fell asleep and I woke up coughing my head off and I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because I'm not used to sleeping down there or or if maybe I'm getting sick. I don't but I don't think I'm getting sick. Um, yeah, my voice sounds raspy, but that's because this is the first time I've spoken today. Um, <laughs> but I don't feel sick. I'm just so tired because I can't, I can't get sleep. <laughs> and um, I have a headache, but like, it's just, it's like that, that headache you get whenever you pulled an all-nighter, basically, you know? I'm just like, I'm so tired. Hey! Hey! We're on our way to our daily COVID tests. We're driving with the windows down. We're driving with the windows down. Mimo's driving because I'm tired. And yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, Mima just said, get me out of this neighborhood. The GPS took us in a very bad area. I don't believe area. the GPS, even if she does talk with a British accent. I don't believe her. <laughs> so, now we're going under the interstate. <laughs> it's... I've been on this before. As soon as we turned, I said, wait a minute, I've been here. And when I was on this road, it was, the sun was going down. And I was, oh, I, I was very, do that road after dark. I was very scared. We yeah. saw several houses that were like blown up. Probably meth houses. Yeah. Oh, but there are solar panels. Look at that. Well, now we're getting back into like a nicer area. But yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, what the heck? There's a boat by the road. <laughs> With a blown up store. <laughs> the amount of blown up buildings <laughs> per capita is like... <laughs> There's like no a of your TV. <laughs> oh my God. In a quarter of a mile. Oh, turn left. All right, we're going to be turning left up here. We are at Dairy Bell getting ice cream. Um, I am still negative. Gabriel is positive. Okay. That was delicious. I love Dairy Bell. <clears throat> but now I am home. I had a missed call from the person who's doing the business side of things for the film. And I need to call him back. Oh my goodness. Oh. Rose-breasted gross beaks. And we can't really see them from here. But they are. It's the male and female. The female is on the feeder on the right and the male is on the left. But it's hiding, you know, behind. And of course there are goldfinches. I was going to take a nap. But that is probably not going to happen. <laughs> I just had to help people with math and... Um, now I'm making food. So, I mean, I got to lie down, so that's good. But boy, am I tired. Um, and I got a message about five minutes ago from the producer saying, give me a call when you have a chance. And I'm like, Ugh. so I'm getting this food made and then I'm gonna give him a call. So I'm, hoping it's good news, but I'm not expecting it to be good news. <laughs> I'm just like, uh. All right, I closed my eyes for a little bit, or just a little bit. Um, Julian has left for his rehearsal. I am staying here. <laughs> and I'm probably going to, um, I'm probably gonna work on packing a little bit and um, work on the audition that came in that I talked about yesterday um, with Gabriel and um, 
Ethan got some auditions that came in today. So we might have to look at those as well. Um, I have spoken to, as I said in the last, I think it was the last clip, but um, I spoke to the producer and basically, unless Gabriel's test comes back negative tomorrow, we aren't going until the weekend because by the time he gets a, by the time he were, bleh, I'm, I'm waking up. Um, by the time he gets his test on Friday morning and the results and everything, for us to like drive there and get settled in and all of that, um, they'd probably be finished for the day, most likely. Um, so, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it looks like, I mean, I'm hoping, I, I don't have very much hope that it's gonna be negative. I really, I, I think that it'll still be positive tomorrow. Um, so, I mean, I hope that it isn't positive, but um, I, I just, I have a feeling it's still, it's still gonna be positive. And so we're probably not going to be able to leave. Um, Friday is day 10. So I think that once you hit day 10, there is some sort of rule um, with SAG that says after day 10, then they can come and be on set. Um, but they have to be masked until they have a negative test result or something. Um, so yeah, I'm probably, I'm also going to try to schedule the tests for Friday. Maybe I can see, the only thing I think is, is if we have our bags packed and if he has negative result on Friday and if I can get like the first test result or the first test slot, then we might be able to make it there for Friday afternoon. Um, Cause they are gonna be doing stuff on Friday afternoon. Like there's stuff that he has, <sighs> there's stuff he has to do. <laughs> Ugh. So, that is my update. All right, I have uh, packed. And yeah, see, look, he took over my desk over here. He's been working from my desk and he's faking a little snooze with a mask on so that I can be in here. Um, <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna get Gabriel's laundry under control and get his go bag packed. Um, his suitcase was not unpacked after we got back from New York. So um, I just did that. And now I'm going to figure out his situation. Actually, I'm probably, I wanna take a walk. It's still light out, I wanna take a walk because I haven't done that for a while. And do you, do you wanna take a walk with me? Okay. It's dark and we're just about to go out for a walk. I took a little bit longer than I originally anticipated for <laughs> packing and uh, organizing. And I actually got an email. I just checked my email and there's an email from the director of a film that Ethan is cast in. Um, and he wants to Zoom with Ethan this weekend. So now I'm gonna write back to him and um, try to schedule that. Um, I don't know if I'll be here, but that's fine. I mean, he can still do a Zoom without me. <laughs> we took a walk. Amen. It is very warm. Very humid. It feels like summer, false summer as Ethan says, <laughs> fall summer, but it felt good to take a walk. Hopefully it'll help me to sleep really well and for a long time. Yeah, our grass is extremely tall because everyone is sick 
and it's not being maintained. So I hope that our neighborhood will understand. I just worked with Gabriel on his audition. He is, I think, almost ready to record it. And I mean, he, of course, he's not 100% because he has like a cough, but his voice isn't exactly the way that it would be normally. But I think whenever he sends it, I'm going to have him, whenever he does his um, slate, his introduction, I'm going to have him tell them that he is, you know, on day whatever of COVID. <laughs> Just so they know, you know, he sounds good, but he doesn't sound like he normally does. Final clip. Final clip, final clip. Yes. Oh, and I can hear Gabriel coughing upstairs. I know that Julian and my mom just got home. They just pulled in the driveway. Um, tomorrow we've got COVID tests in the morning. She has got peanut butter, so I can make I'm going to go to the store after the COVID tests. Well, I gotta give you a list. Yeah, I need a list, Ethan. Come on, chop, chop. <laughs> and um, then I, I've already scheduled the PCRs if the rapid tests are neg you know, both negative. So, um, yeah, that's all I have on the schedule for tomorrow, other than, like, filming a self-tape and looking at other self-tape stuff and, you know, just trying to plan when everything needs to be accomplished before I leave town, so. Hopefully that Walgreens doesn't get mad at you for scheduling and canceling and scheduling and canceling. Oh, you know what I did? I switched it up tomorrow. I'm doing the rapid tests at the Walgreens here, and I'm doing the PCRs at the CVS. So it'll be different. It'll be <laughs> it's something different. Hopefully. But we're doing the rapid tests right around the corner. I've never done I've never done them at Walgreens. I've always done CVS. So CVS, we went to I love I love CVS. I mean I I love Walgreens. I shop at Walgreens all the time. Oh, I I, like I never shop at CVS, but I do all of our COVID testing at CVS. So I like. like CVS. Yeah, the, the Minute Clinic is really nice. So, um, anyway, that's what's happening. So, until tomorrow.